We first met Mr. Yang in March 2013. And he came with his whole team uh, a year after that in Feb 2014. He took a look at all our restaurants. We showcased uh, what we had then. Uh, we had Manam, we had Eight Cuts, and we had um, Q. After which he left uh, and a few months after that in April, we got a call to join their partners conference in Taiwan. We didn't know what to make of it, but we went anyway. Um, it was a great learning experience. It was a celebration of Din Tai Fung that happens yearly. Um, but no business talk, just uh, celebration. So when we were about to leave that day, we were actually already in the cab, Abba and I, on the way back to the airport to, to fly here to Manila. We got a call to have lunch with him. So Abba and I looked at each other, we're like, uh, we're on the way to the airport. But we had a few minute discussion as to, hey, what if this is the time that he tells us um, if, if we get the franchise or not. So we decided, when we, as soon as we got to the airport, we said, uh, we'd like to cancel our flight. Please rebook us for the night through Hong Kong and we went back, made it to lunch in Taipei 101 where we had um, we had a short meal with him um, just exchanging pleasantries what we thought about what we thought about the, the whole week that we had with him and in the end he said go home and find a space and so we did and found the best one. Why bring Din Tai Fung to the Philippines? For one, I mean we just have utmost respect for this brand and, and, and the craft um, that they bring to what they do. Everybody always laughs at me when I say this. Um, it's, it's so cheesy, but it's really like having gone through a two and a half year courtship and having won over the love of your life. It was a, a, it was a long and arduous process, but more than what you see from an external standpoint, first and foremost, we really had to dig deep and come to a real appreciation and understanding of the brand, what it stands for, an appreciation of all the small little things that gel together perfectly that make Din Tai Fung one of the best restaurants in the world. So we trained there for six whole months. All 20 of us were training in the floor, in the front kitchen, and in the back kitchen. I practically lived there. I had an apartment. All the staff were living under one roof. So we became a small little family. But it was the most exciting six months of my life. I've never learned so much in that short span of time. I never regret a single day there. I was the first one who arrived in Taiwan for the training. A, a week after, I was joined by the first batch. Ray, who is the executive chef now of Din Tai Fung, is actually our first um, employee of the Moment Group. The most valuable lesson I learned was to work as a team. Each of us have our own different personalities, so I had to learn that to trust them, and most importantly also to care for each other as a family. I hope for to be a notch higher for the Nintendo Typhoon experience to be a part of people's bucket list. My most valuable lesson learned in Taiwan would be accepting my weaknesses and doing everything to make those weaknesses my strength. Memorable experience when I was in Taiwan is a uh, when I'm having my training there, I met a lot of Filipinos over there having their vacation, visiting Taiwan, and then we get a chance to serve them like the DTF way, like the Din Tai Fung way. It's like serving Filipinos, making them more proud that there's a one Filipino training in Taiwan, then soon, soon to have one Din Tai Fung also in the Philippines. So they are all looking forward, they're all really excited about it. They have perfected the art of creating the world's most famous Shalom Bao. And I guess, you know, I think the best way to really sum it all up is, is for me to quote the Wall Street Journal by saying that the answer is in a single bite. Of course, Din Tai Fung is known to have the world's most famous Shalom Bao. So I had to learn it myself. And the challenge of learning an art like that was, I thought, insurmountable. So out of the hundreds of Shalom Bao's that I did and practiced to do, when my first Shalom Bao went into that basket, I wanted to jump for joy. In the Philippines, we strive to achieve the same seamless dining experience that people have become accustomed to experiencing around the rest of the world. 
Well, with over half a century of drawing lines, Din Tai Fung has so many fans around the world. And we know that there are so many fans in the Philippines as well waiting for Din Tai Fung. So we can only hope that when we open our doors to the Filipino diner, they will be happy to say that they can experience the same Din Tai Fung experience here in the Philippines that they experience the world over. Mr. Yang, we'd like to take this opportunity to thank you and your whole team for entrusting us with your life's work. It is our honor to bring Din Tai Fung here in the Philippines. Shesheni. Thank you. Maraming salamat. <laughs>